Welcome back to the classroom. My name is Mr. Wong. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at a past HSC physics paper. And in this problem, we are looking at how charged particles behave in an electric field. The diagram shows two parallel horizontal metal plates connected to a DC source of electricity. Suspended between the plates is a charged particle of mass 9.6 times 10 to the power of negative six kilograms. We can see uh, the two charge plates are separated by a distance of two centimeters. The top side is negative, the bottom side is positive. So what that tells us is also the direction of the current, the conventional current is going this way across the circuit. Let's look at what the question is asking us to do. In question A, it says, using conventional symbols, draw the electric field between the metal plates on the diagram. So, are we going from positive to negative or negative to positive? Um, in accordance with conventional current or conventional understanding, it's always going from high potential to low potential. So in this context here, our electric field is moving from the positive side to the negative side. Another thing worth to note is if we're looking at parallel plates, their um, electric field strength is the same inside the plate. So when you draw this, you should preferably try and draw the electric field lines uh, very close together in terms of distance, very consistent in distance. Um, Similar to here, but probably you could do a better job than I did. So that's answering question A. Moving along to question B, we're asked to determine the magnitude of the electric field between the plates. So we're actually trying to find the value for E, okay? So we have a value for E, we have a value for the distance in separation, and we also have potential difference or voltage. If that's the case, we can use the following formula, delta V over D. And in this problem, I know that the voltage is 49, and I know the distance in separation is two centimeters. This needs to be converted in the correct SI units of meters. So I'm gonna do this in scientific notation, 10 to the minus two, or point two zero. So 2.0, I just make that really clear there, times 10 to the power of negative 2. And if I plug that into my calculator, let's see what we get. I get 2,450. The units are volts per meter. That solves our first problem here. Moving on to our um, second or third question, it says determine the sign and the magnitude of the charge uh, on the particle if it's suspended motionless between the plates. Okay, interesting question. To determine the sign and the magnitude of the charge, one we need to know um, is the force applied. And we know that in terms of the force experienced by a charged particle is represented as Q uh, multiplied by E. In the question, we've also been given mass. Okay, so up here. So what we can almost imagine is if we were holding this vertically upwards, then gravity is probably going to try and pull our object down. So we know there is a bit of force being applied to it. In this particular uh, object, there's going to be mass and acceleration to be accounted for, given the fact that if we have a charged particle in an electric field, it will experience a force. And Therefore, the only force that's actually acting on our charged particle, if the electric field wasn't turned on, is the force of gravity, the weight force. So M multiplied by G. Now I know what M is, 
at uh, 9.6 times 10 to the power of um, 6. So I'll just write that down. And obviously, check your data sheet to find what the value of g is. In this case, a and g are the same thing. It is 9.8 meters per second squared. So let's just make sure I cross-reference. Yep, that is correct. Okay, so the subject of the equation is to find the value of q. So if I rearrange m multiplied by g over e, is the equation of note. m will be 9.6 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Multiply that by 9.8, and we divide it by our electric field strength. Let's see what the charge is. So it is, let me just redo that. 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros, and then 384, or you can write it in scientific notations, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3.84 times 10 to the power of negative 8 coulombs. So that's the charge of the particle. Uh, or the magnitude of the charge, sorry. In terms of what sign it is, now if gravity is trying to pull our charge down, then the force of the electric field should be to counteract that to make it motionless, because these two forces need to cancel each other out, or Fg needs to be equal to Fe. So the force needs to be pushing the uh, charge particle up. So what you can see here is our electric field goes from positive to negative. So in order for the charged particle to be forced upwards in this context here, our charged particle needs to be attracted to the negative plane. If that's the case, remember, opposite charges attract and therefore our charged particle has to be positive. So I'll just write charge is positive, needs to attract to negative plate to counter the downwards gravitational force, therefore thus um, charge particle is motionless. Okay, and that's how you do the problem here. If you found it useful in just breaking down each step one at a time, the logic of deconstructing, explaining, and even just using the correct forms or how to find the correct forms to use, like, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care, everyone.